imagine this scenario. You're a small time criminal looking for your next person to rob when you spot an elderly gentleman alone, thinking he would be an easy target. You confront the man and demand he gives you all of his retirement fund. But as it turns out, he is a martial arts master. It's not his awe-inspiring martial arts abilities for a 95-year-old that concerns you, but the cane he is wielding. You wonder to yourself just how much damage and pain that cane could cause. So you quickly run home to your laptop to check if Houston Jones has posted a video on self-defense canes, only to find out he hasn't. Which is why in today's video, I will be answering that question by getting beat with various self-defense canes. Why do you have a shocking cane? I don't know. It looks pretty effective though, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, just keep that away from me and everyone else. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we start hitting me with these here canes, we're gonna test it out on this here watermelon. It'll give Mark some practice swinging so he doesn't miss when he hits me. And then we can see what it does to something that's not a human. Let me add her. Are you gonna hold a cane while you swing a cane? How do you think I'm gonna stand? Good point, Mark. Holy shit. how'd that feel? Yeah, you're holding it upside down. Are you senile? No, are you? No. I wish you wouldn't do that. You're, you made a couple fans happy doing that. Uh, you have to clean the end of your canes. Yeah, with soap and a rag. Nah. And that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> An enlightening test, but we all know a watermelon's a little bit watery. That's why I got this little here butternut squash. She's hard. Or is it a she? Yeah, you're right. That does look like a he, doesn't it? It's an it. Definitely a he. Uh, so I want to give him a good old wallop and see what happens. I think they identify as vegetables. He doesn't like the way you're talking about them. Holy sh! That's the most devastating damage we've ever received on the butternut squash. We finally got to the inside of it. You gotta lick, lick her off. <laughs> well, let's hit me. We demonstrated what is perhaps the most lethal melee cane that I bought. So we're gonna bring it back down to this cane here first. She's a little bit lighter in design. Got a nice nasty knob on the end there. I'm gonna get hit with each of these moving up in severity. And we're gonna end with this here electric cane. Okay, keep it away from me for now. God. Damn, he's senile. I love technology. <laughs> Put it down. Put it down. You'll have your chance. Good. I'm looking forward to it. You probably don't look forward to much at this age, huh? Just hurting you. That makes sense. I think I killed the battery. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're pushing into the ground. Uh. <laughs> All right, up first is the Blackthorn Knob. I believe it's from African descent. Wow. I, I believe that's where it originated from. That's why I said that. Okay. Anyways, Mark's gonna hit me with that knob part here under my left leg. We're gonna start at like a nice good old 30% power so I can gauge how it feels. And then I wanna go up from there. You said 30? 30. Oh, wow. That kind of stings. I was expecting a little bit more blunt. She's a little bit of both. You already broke a blood vessel, Mark. I don't got a lot of those left practicing for 70 years. Really, because I was gonna say about 85. Do you even know me? Oh, my identity. <laughs> you see my veins bulging there? Can't be healthy, not good for my heart. You know what is good for your heart? The sponsor of this video, Bucked, bucked Up. up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good one. Yeah, a good, <laughs> you know, high fives all around. Thank you. A triple high five. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> As many of you know, I'm a gym rat. And after extensively testing the pre-workouts and supplements that I received from Bucked Up, I cannot recommend them enough. They have no proprietary blends, which means you know exactly what you are consuming. And they use effectively dosed, science-backed ingredients. Bucked Up has everything that I personally look for in a pre-workout, which is why I know it'll work great for all of you. If you don't believe me, you can try it out yourself for free. Simply click the link below and you'll receive four buckshots along with two 
bonus shots, and all you need to do is cover the shipping costs. And if you're interested in exploring other fantastic products on their website, use code JONES to enjoy a generous 20% discount. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark, that hurt like a raccoon nibbling on your neck on a Sunday morning. What? Yeah. So I'm thinking we do about a 60% power hit. A little bit higher if you will. Oh, I will. That seemed about the same in my eyes. Are you happy now, boy? <laughs> um, you're old, you can't be moving. I have reports from the crew that that was about the same power. So we need to up the beans a little bit. Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that enough beans? <laughs> it's high. It's so high. Ah, it was on the leg. It counts. <sighs> It's amazing the mobility I have at this age. That's why you gotta stretch every day. Otherwise... <sighs> oh <my God. laughs> well, canes are in. Man. I need, I need a cane. <laughs> They're holding one. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a little deal here. This has some uh, power behind it, but uh, I am not scared. So I won't react and everyone's gotta like the video. You now for your age, you still have a pretty firm handshake. God. <laughs> See these hands? She's got big hands. Yeah. These hands. <laughs> My little I have, I have built some houses. His hands do. Oh my glutes, I pinched him so hard. It's turning red. <laughs> I can't be doing handshakes like that at my age. I turn 29 tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy yeah, birthday. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you might need that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I won't react either, so you better double like it. Hit me real good, Sonny. Oh, Lordy. I'm not scared. Oh. <laughs> if you're ever older, buy a cane because they hurt like a mother. <laughs> I'd say a grandmother. They hurt like a grandmother. <laughs> Great grandmother, even. <sighs> Well, shall we move on? Yes. Yes, we shall. <laughs> Good Lord. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, it looks like those gummy rings. Ah, you're right. Anyone want to taste it? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa, you love the nether regions. Back when there wasn't chlamydia. <laughs> chlamydia has always existed, Grandpa Mark. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next cane. It's the Marty McFly fist. Uh, Is that what it's called? I bought it because it's a fist. Not because you're a big Back to the Future fan? I also couldn't care about the movies. What? <laughs> you look like Doc. <laughs> Disgrace. I mean, I like, obviously they're good movies, but you know, not the biggest fan. All right, let's just fist him. For this one, we're going up my asshole. Good. No, it's not, someone should have like... No, just no, no, that was a joke. No. Someone should have said something there. Oh. I thought that was... That's what we went over in the meeting. Yeah. It was a joke in the meeting, too. Oh. We're going to hit me in the lake. Again. It'd be a lot more funny in the Mark's got a good point. I don't like Grandpa Mark. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, not bad, right? I flexed my cheeks pretty hard there. I did look flexed. And we learned flexing protects. Mm -hmm. Flex protects. Flex protects. I like that. That's pretty good, yeah. The boot test was nice and dandy. But we should probably see how uh, it looks on my lake, you know, when the, the, I get fisted on the lake. Uh, you know, we, we could do one more on this. It's just a one more. Well, gosh darn it, who am I to deny old Grandpa Mark here? Uh, I only got so many days left. Thanks for letting my dreams come true. Oh. Oh. Oh, Grandpa Mark, I felt that in my bones. In my brittle bones. Uh. 
Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Grant. Mark. I think I'm done. Oh, oh you're king. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I gotta pull my cheeks down just for the damage report. I gotta give what the ladies wanna see. Woo! You wanna see his ass? I thought we we're getting married Saturday. We're not married yet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some hits that aren't on sensitive areas. We're gonna do a 60% power hit on the side of my leg. Need a cane, feller. Finally made you into a cripple. Oh, my knee kind of hurts from that. Might have hit your IT band. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Took some skin off too while you were at it. Got all the knuckles right there. Sick. Well, you know what that means. Good old 75% power hit. You know what? Let's make it 80. Uh, and you got yourself a fistin. Houston, Houston, no. We have so many more videos to make. Houston. This will get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, great accuracy. The knuckles are bleeder. This is happens from this. We're moving on. <laughs> To the last of the melee canes. Grandpa Mark, can you hop over there and grab that for me? Uh, we'll pep in your step, please. Uh, this one. I think I'm the most scared of this. It has the most weight behind it. Uh, so we'll see what it can do. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. Ow. Okay. Well, that's gonna suck. Let's bring her on up to good old 60 for the same power. Oh my God. That was so bad. Are you okay, Sonny? I think I saw my life flash before my eyes. What was it like? Terrifying. Your life was terrifying? A lot of pain. Yeah, there was. <laughs> well, once again, I'm hesitant to ask, but let's do about like a 75% power hit. <laughs> Looks like you got some rockets taking off on your Yeah. Life. Honestly, it's kind of like some abstract art. So that's a meteor that mm -hmm. missed the rocket ships mm -hmm. going towards the black sun. Yes. Black hole, if you will. Black hole. Well, I feel like you definitely can crack some skulls with this one. Honestly, probably all of them so far. I think uh, there's one last game we got to test. If you could go on over there and grab it. <laughs> the last cane we got is the one I'm least looking forward to. It's this huge stun gun cane. I don't think the draw to this cane is, you know, the blunt impact as much as it is the electricity pulsing through it. Well, first it's gonna touch me with it, see how it feels, and then we're gonna have it running and then hit me with it, you know, kind of like so. Maybe, maybe it'll fix your AFib. I think it would break my AFib. Even worse. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah, I mean, <laughs> neighbors heard that one. And my dog didn't even react to protect me. That's that, concerning. That wasn't a real scream, right? That sounded pretty real to me. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a good scream. We're gonna do a 50% power swing with the stun gun cane. See how that feels. Get it, get it away from me. I, I was just trying to get close to you. You gotta brace yourself with the other walking stick. Don't embarrass me. Here, I'm sorry. You don't need to get your swinging it at me. I'm, pr I'm lining it up. To line up. I don't want you to line it I up, damn it. I don't trust you. Ah! Why, why is there a reflector on this? So you can see the old person in the dark. You shouldn't be out at dark. You should be in bed. Some, sometimes I like a nice nightly stroll through the town. I guess. We're gonna swing it in a bit harder. One more time, call it her day. Can 
just in case you think about any funny business. You made me bleed somehow. I don't really understand it. The blunt impact from that wasn't that bad. However, the shocking aspect was quite alarming. It definitely makes you want to get away. So I will give props to the stun gun cane for that. Uh, I'm questioning the design a little bit. Uh, it doesn't seem to shock as much as it should. Could be a little taller. Could be a little bit taller as well. It's a very short cane. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You need a lot of hunch or you need to be really short to use it. <laughs> But anyway, so let's review the data. Uh, as you can see, uh, we started here to the front side. Uh, not looking good, looking pretty bad actually. And then on the side, uh, you can see that. I even got a bug sipping on my blood, or data, if you will. That's messed up. That's gross. Yep, uh, it is what it is. Uh, then last but not least, we got the sun gun side. We got a little bit more data leakage right there. Some slight abrasions. Uh, I will report back in a couple days and give you my final thoughts on self-defense canes. I'm just messing with you. You know I wouldn't do that. My peepee -pee went inside of me. <laughs> I have the power. I'll I, take this one. I got more reach. I have the higher ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the self-defense canes data review. Three days after the experiment, I had significant bruising pretty much everywhere I got hit, including my butt cheek, which if you could censor my butt crack, Jake, that would be great. And sorry in advance for exposing myself to you, but I had really no other choice. You know, the people need to see the data just not my butt crack. Honestly, this is some of the worst bruising I've had on my legs in a while, which I consider to be pretty impressive. So I think it's safe to conclude that in the right hands, canes can be very effective self-defense tools. They can cause a lot of pain, damage, and have the potential to be lethal depending on where a person gets hit. The only thing I'm unsure of is an older person's capability to use a cane in a self-defense situation without falling over and breaking a hip. Because let's be honest, if they're walking around with a cane, they probably need it to stand and move around. So they're not that mobile to be swinging this thing around. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next painfully scientific video. My bladder kind of released a little bit. Incontinence gets ya. What's that mean? When you dribble, when you don't mean to. <laughs> I've been dribbling for years. Out of my ass. All you. All you. Swamp ass is what I call it. It keeps the ladies away. No, nah, they love it. A little bit of soup from them. A little tasty little mixture. It sweat. They clean it up, lick it up with their tongue. Mm -hmm. They call me Swamp Daddy. Wanna go play some cards? Yeah.